Hi beautiful souls, this is Ashna here with Divine Soul Resonance, welcoming everyone to my channel with all my love and all my heart. Today I'm bringing forth a reading for the Divine Masculine Collective. Each one of us human beings have the Divine Masculine and a Divine Feminine energy within us. The Masculine energy is the energy of action and outward expression and the Feminine energy is that of receptivity. So today I'm tapping into the Divine Masculine Collective. So whether you're a male or female, but you embody and resonate with this vibration, then this reading is for you. Also know that I am making this as a general read and a timeless read, for time is actually always in the now. So we'll look at what is taking place in the lives of the Divine Masculines, what are the energies that the Divine Masculine Collective is working with some of the obstacles and some of the areas that they are navigating and the advice coming in from spirit. That's the intention that I have set for the reading. So let's begin first with looking at some guidance messages. Divine Masculine Collective. Thank you. Heart Healing, Fourth Chakra, Archangel Raphael. So the Divine Masculines, you may be seeing the numbers 8 a lot, or you may be seeing number synchronicities of 11. I am here to remind you, to tell you that whatever your situation is, whether it's causing stress, anxiety, some fears, um, some heartaches, not sure which direction to go. There is a lot of healing that is around you and within you that is taking place. The universe is bringing in a lot of light vibration to help heal your heart, to open the heart. And when we talk about opening of the heart, what it's speaking of is that you are open to the feminine way of receiving, receiving the abundance, receiving the grace, receiving the love, receiving the wealth, receiving the help, receiving the spiritual knowledge, receiving your gifts. This is the element of receptivity. So there is a lot of healing of your heart that is taking place at this time. So perhaps I'm feeling that some of the things that may be coming up in your life may be a repeated pattern or some things that you thought that you're taking care of, but it's coming up again. And it's having you to revisit those parts, to revisit those parts. For the reading is for a divine masculine. And that is a divinity within you, to recognize the divinity within you, to tap into that part and honor that aspect within you. That you don't always have to come from a place of aggression. You don't always have to come from a place of knowing and having to do some things, but more in terms of receiving the guidance and flowing and being flexible with it. That's a beautiful energy to begin with. What is going to assist the Divine Masculine Collective at this time with this beautiful energy of the Heart Chakra and the healing of the Heart Chakra? What is assisting the Divine Masculines at this time? The Organizer. So I'm seeing the Saturn. Saturn energy playing big. I'm seeing water here and a lot of beautiful greenery. Okay, so one of the things is connect to nature, Divine Masculines and also honor the environment honor your physical environment honor the actual environment so if you can do something for mother earth you know environmental protection animal rights all living beings so the message here is that everything has a rightful place okay everything has a rightful place so using force is not going to help infringing upon another person's will forcing your will upon another is um, not the way of divinity the divine the divinity is in recognition and in seeing that we're all connected in seeing that all things become part of the whole so what i'm also seeing over here for you divine masculine what's going to be helping you during this phase is to be very true be truthful about who you are what you believe in 
and continue to honor your commitments. Be the source that someone can rely on you, not be iffy, make commitments and then fall out of commitments. So this this is the period that is whatever is taking place in your life is going to push you in the direction to encourage you to nudge you or you know kind of come in as a rude awakening however you want to see it just comes in differently for different people but where you're going to be taught to be patient patience is a virtue and it helps in it is a virtue in the heart chakra that you understand that everything takes place in divine order okay everything can't be rushed through on when you want it and when it should happen so what's going to help you right now is to be systematic and a bit more disciplined. Uh, perhaps some of you have um, let that part slide. There is a aspect within you of commitment. I'm feeling out of all of this energy. I'm feeling like you're going to be pushed towards the direction of committing yourself. And I feel like it is committing yourself towards being truthful, and your communication with all of this blue is again emotional communicating your emotions freely and also communicating with love so more compassion flowing through you this i mean i'm just seeing i love fountains where i was somewhere yesterday and i was seeing these fountains and this is to me feeling like the asa cups like overflowing, overflowing of emotions, emotional birthing. So honoring, I feel like Divine Masculines, you're cleansing a lot of your, you're going through a lot of emotional healing at this time, which is actually the realm of the Divine Feminine. I'm going to now look at what chakra needs a little bit more strengthening um, during this time. Okay, thank you, angels. Sound. Okay, that's the throat chakra, but I don't know why I'm feeling this one's also wanting to come with it. The mind. Okay, I like that. This is card number 33. Okay, so number 33 would be, oh, all right, here we go. Now this is definitely a, I need to start with this one because I saw some synchronicity here for you, Divine Masculine. I want you to see the synchronicity for yourself. 3-8 and 3-8 from different decks. So whether it's the number 38 or just synchronicities through numbers is what's doing, what's happening uh, is Divine Masculines that your third eye chakra is expanding. It's this universal knowledge. You're opening to the universality okay, of yourself, your divinity, that the entire universe is within me. Okay, so you're coming from a place of complete connectedness. That's what your, that's what the healing is taking place of. That we're all connected. Okay, you're understanding that this is this person's perspective. This is this person's perspective, and we are all one divine being, the mind. So there is an opening in the mind. With this is also showing that your mind and your mindset is going to play a big role. Let's see what's going to open up in tarot. This is also the um, energy of imagination. And uh, if you are interested, Divine Masculines, do watch the Divine Feminine reading because for them, they got the imagination. Both of those are in the third eye. So Divine Feminine's also got the third eye. And, the, and you, you all have also gotten the third eye chakra that is being um, that is being cleansed, that is being healed, that is being coming to balance. To me, this is already showing of a mirroring taking place with your feminine energy or with the feminine in your life. Okay, so I am seeing what's going to support you during this time is to be a little bit more open, to be more accepting, no matter how uh, wild and how opposing someone else's view may seem or feel, but it's asking of you to take a more gentler and a more open approach to um, be a little bit more flexible, to be a little bit more yielding. So what's going to happen is you're going to start to merge your energy with the feminine energy within you. So you'll know when it is time to take action and then you'll know when it's time to kind of be flexible and flow. Okay, so this will help you to release the stronghold that you have in the solar plexus, okay, which is your own home home of the masculine energy. Now, what is going to support you during this journey 
is you may be connecting a lot with music. Some of you may be musicians, some of you may be singers, some of you may uh, have thought about wanting to write music. Okay, you may be around, you may be inspired, but I'm seeing instruments, music, music, more than art. I'm feeling like uh, the sense of rhythm, the sense of rhythm is opening up your emotions. So a lot of our emotional healing, our sacral energies is expressed through the throat chakra. This is the throat chakra, okay? This is the energy of the throat chakra sound. To me, another big message that's coming for you is what is the vibration? What is the rhythm that you are emanating? Okay, let's start with that. What is the rhythm that you are emanating, Divine Masculines? What is the energy that you are emitting? Okay, is the energy that of leadership, love, compassion, wealth, camaraderie, community, openness, imagination, learning, truthful, integrity, discerning, or is it limiting? That's all I will say. Is it detrimental to yourself or to another? What is the sound vibration that you're emitting through your thoughts? What are the thoughts that you're saying to yourself? Because you hear your thoughts more than anybody else. What are the thoughts that you are, quote unquote, entertaining? And what is it that you are speaking into the universe? For what you speak, here is the mind, you manifest. Perhaps some of you do need to, quote unquote, silence the mind through meditation. And I do feel healing for your heart is taking place through music. So there may be messages coming in through music, certain sound frequencies, certain uh, lyrics that you hear that is not accidental. These are synchronistic for they are bringing in healing into your energy body. Let's take some messages from the Romance Angels to see. You know, this is a general reading to look into what's taking place in your life, in your your situation right now, whether you are connected with your Divine Feminine or not. You may be in a separation with your Divine Feminine or you may be in a process where you are setting the intention of connecting with a Divine Partner. Okay, so take it how it resonates. If you need something that's personal to you, Divine Masculines, go ahead and uh, you can book a reading with me. Check the details in the description box and you can reach out to me. Finances and careers. So I know the Divine Feminines are working with, um, I don't want to say money, but yes, they're having a very grounded element on play here right now let's look at what's come up for you oh wedding and love yourself first wow okay so um through all of this dear divine masculines i am seeing that the universe is guiding you to love yourself more the universal guidance is that love yourself first meaning this is not coming from a self-centered place but this is coming from a place of honoring the way of the divine feminine is to honor all of life as you begin to to release certain judgments i do feel that you are being a bit judgmental towards yourself you're criticizing yourself a little bit um you, you really are criticizing yourself and the message you're coming is that what are the words that you're saying so release that harsh and critical judgments that you're placing on yourself and love yourself and honor the divine and the divinity in you as you honor the divinity in you you begin to respect love and honor divinity in others okay so outside is merely just a reflection of what is already uh, taking place within okay that's beautiful and uh, some of you may already be married some of you may be considering uh, a marriage partner some of you are looking for and connecting and wishing to bring about this um, deep soul bond soul connection 
uh, where you are sharing of your love vibration, you're sharing of your heart energy, you're sharing of your love, you're sharing of your passion, you're sharing of your wealth. You know, so so this is a, um, a this is a solidification in the material plane is you know, marriage to a feminine. And it doesn't mean like because they're showing a male and a female. So don't worry about the gender. When I say don't worry, meaning don't pay attention to the gender. Male, male, female, female, it doesn't matter. But it is the energy. So holder of the masculine energy, holder of the feminine energy. A unity, a wedding, a coming together. That's what I'm feeling. Like way forward, this is this is this energy is taking place so that they can be union and sensing union uh, you're drawing in union energy however the archangel the angels your guides are first helping you to bring forth a lot more healing um, in your I need to fix this a little bit hold on right here right here yes and also know that you can manifest anything that you can dream and visualize divine masculines um, it's all in the power of the mind I also said something similar in the divine feminine reading because uh, their power of visualization is what's needing um, help and in this case even for you this is the chakra it's the mind okay so mind can also be the ego mind so seeing where the ego is stopping for you to making a move towards someone you love perhaps to express your love, to share of this love vibration, to share that you feel in this rhythm and sync with this person, okay? Making that move, okay? Right, right? If this person's reaching out and sharing of that love. Um, so there's a clearing of the heart that's taking place, but it's also speaking of that don't be fearful of expressing your love. And I do feel that everything is falling in place. Everything is a symphony. Everything moves in the right rhythm. So there is a shift in your own personal vibration that's taking place at this time. Okay, so marriage is definitely something that is big right now. Let's look at tarot. Let's look at tarot. So I did see, and I'm here, here to show you at the bottom of the deck, we do have Releasing again of the heart energy here. This is the three of swords as you can see with this depiction, you know, it's gray There's swords, but there's just no there's no blood though. So this is again the mind The thoughts that have created something in the beautiful heart energy Where it is blocking it and not allowing for it to grow and flourish and that's what that past energy that's what the healing is taking place of the past heartaches perhaps in relationships perhaps some of you were married before and it it was it caused a lot of heartache okay perhaps you lost money there perhaps there were uh things where it was it felt like a symphony but it no it it came to this part of the end and then you're not you're not sure how you can trust perhaps the feminine that you've met or how you can trust another feminine to come into your life if you would want something that's grounded so that's the overall energy that we're working with is healing of this pain healing of this uh, old wounds and old past structures to create a new symphony for yourself okay so if you know I am going to begin and I'm, I'm I don't I can't say the time frame the intention is sometime in August I want to restart my manifesting through the chakras if any of you feel called to drawn to and feel like uh, learning and um, applying that learning to your life you can go ahead and email me I won't be doing like a big video on it but I'm just saying it you know this just started as soon as I did a couple of readings in the last couple of days it's just coming to me again and again and that's why I'm just right in the middle of the reading I'm saying that is if you're interested then reach out to me I'll I'll begin something where I go through each and every chakra and the energy in the chakras and what they represent and uh, how we bring healing in and the power of manifestation and what it flows into uh, to how to make our dreams a reality okay with that let us see the divine masculine Bath, I'll take nine cards, no reversals. Feeling the energy of nine. The Emperor. Setting strong boundaries. There's the organizer, and we've got the Emperor. Okay. 
very practical, very solid, very solid in their knowing. Okay, I'm not feeling a controlling energy, but it is taking back control of your life. Okay, taking back control of your life. Okay, I'm not sensing uh, right now that very harsh or harsh structures. Strength guard and the page of cups. A few more messages coming, but let me get all the cards in. Healing, four of swords, center spread, center spread, ten of wands, king of swords, last three, tower, Divine Masculines, you have been getting the tower for now a few months now. Something big is taking place. A big change is taking place. You may be seeing uh, fives a lot. You may be seeing 11 11s a lot. You might be seeing fives a lot. Okay. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Okie dokie. <laughs> Okie dokie. <laughs> and we have the Magician, which is your energy at the bottom of the deck. So let's look at this. Um, Hmm. Here are a few messages that I'm feeling right away, Divine Masculines. Yes, there is a need to regain control. But let's first start with, you've put some strong boundaries or, or boundaries have been put on you through religion, through community through some uh, way of being someone in authority okay so it could be someone that you look up to it definitely a father father figure it feels a very strong structure something that you know you don't move the whole world can come and and move around but i ain't budging that kind of an energy okay that's what i'm sensing there were certain rules there were certain expectations i'm hearing expectations and there were certain things that you were needing to do not that you wanted to do him but you were expected to do and perhaps out of fear of what society will say or what religion will say or what something else will say you continue to uh, guard yourself and be very guarded and come from a very strong a little bit more aggressive i'm sensing now an aggressive energy because i see the strength guard right next to it and this is doubled Okay, four and eight doubled. And we saw three and eight there. Okay, so to me, this is feeling like it was needing to control. There, there was a part that was quite aggressive. Either you, um, I am first feeling that there was aggressive, strong, controlling energy around you, either when you were growing up or in your recent past. Uh, it could be in your work. It could be in other situations, your own, own uh, father or a father figure, someone you look up to, something, okay? So take it how it resonates. There was a lot of control that came in, okay? Now that, let's start with that, that has created a lot of burdens in your life, meaning it's not who you are, but you continue to do what was expected of you. When you continue to do what you really don't wanna do, it creates a lot of resentment, it creates anger, it creates hurt, it creates uh, envy, it creates all these lower vibrational energies, okay? That has created a lot of anxiety. I'm feeling the Divine Masculine energy in this period of anxiety, okay? I'm not sure how I can even restabilize my life with the Four of Wands as the um, final message here. Four of Wands is 11-11, happiness, recognition, celebration, stability, you know, but stability versus this. If you look at both of these energies, in this case, which looks like a happier celebration? There's a unity. Do you see that? They're showing a male and a female there. There's a unity. Did we not see the wedding card here, which talks about the... It's showing the coming together of the masculine and the feminine principle, not male and female, masculine and feminine. Okay. There's also, I'm sensing the masculine and the feminine energy coming together, celebrating where you should be taking some structures and where you should be kind of being more flexible. 
And that is where this Page of Cups comes in. It is time to start small. And this is emotional healing. Perhaps there is a love offer that you need to uh, extend to another. And I don't mean in terms of your feminine, but it could be like a, a, a sorry, perhaps where you feel like maybe you were harsh because harshness had come to you. That's the only thing that you knew. So to protect your heart, protect your heart, you created this external ego or uh, an aggression and you didn't allow for the love to come in. And perhaps love was wanting to come through in different forms, but you um, rejected it. Okay. And now there's a realization that's taking place because they've been, you've been carrying these spiritual burdens for a while and the universe is helping to step in. Okay. Look at this. This is the universe stepping in to give you love to offer love to this heavy situation. Now, anyone looking at this, you know that this feels like a heavy situation. These burdens, this this crown, okay, this crown was no longer yours. You're meant to be a different type of an emperor, okay? You're meant to be a different type of an emperor. An emperor that is very loving, very kind, is very uh, gentle, is loving, and knows how to create that balance, Okay, when to give, when to be yielding, and when to set strong structures. Okay, that's one. So there's also the message that's coming in that is time for emotional healing. That was right at that time. Okay, it was needed for you to go through those lessons. Now you're a different person. You're manifesting. This is we're anchoring in new earth. We're anchoring in new vibration. You're the divine masculine that honors the feminine, that honors the feminine principle of receptivity. And it is not in honoring another person. First, you honor that within yourself. This is a self journey and that reflects in the external. So the universe is sending you love, is sending you loving vibration, is sending you um, people uh, who are, you know, uh, very helpful. Uh, suddenly you will see that they're helpful people or they're people who are bringing healing to your emotions and they could be healing uh, emotions that's coming in through sound um, and that's to help you to release it this is the ten of wands is the end and the nine of swords is nearly there to end and you have the big messages you have the strength you have the strength to tame those fears you have the strength to break free from old patterns of control you have the strength to release your self from some limiting pattern in your life you have the strength and agility of the mind you have the strength you have the capacity you have the know-how you are the magician okay who has all the tools within himself or herself you're encoded with these with these energies to make things happen you are connected to the divine realm do you see that do you see his right hand holding that staff, wearing the red robe, energy of manifestation, the whole, his outfits, white, spirit, connected to the infinite source. You're anchoring in into the earth through you, through you, whatever you wish to manifest in that garden. Right? Whatever you ma wish to manifest, you have that ability to move away from conflict, to move away from self-sabotaging behavior, to move away from people who have put you down. There is a new energy. Wow, there's a death card. You guys are going through a major period of healing. I'm going to put the death card here. It's important for us to see the death card because death is bringing in a rebirth. There's a rebirth taking place. Okay, there's a new beginning. There's a death and an ending of an old way. I said you're going to be seeing the fives. I'm seeing the five here because you're the magician here. You're the magician here. And what I am seeing where this, uh, where this reading is bringing you towards is really bringing in um, happiness, is bringing in stability, is bringing in this ultimate uh, union with the divine feminine, okay, which is going to bring in a lot of healing in your life. However, your journey is also to uh, create a new structure, to become the emperor. Now, what I mean is that for you to now redefine some structures, you are creating an empire, Divine Masculine. What are you going to hold on to and what are you going to release? And what is the new legacy that you're going to set? What is that legacy? What is that pattern? What is it that you are going to commit to? 
okay what is it that you're going to set in order okay what is it that you're going to be systematic and disciplined about in your life new structures new structures of love new structures of bringing in flexibility new structures of offering understanding so you're breaking free from old patterns and you're going through i told you you're going through the period of healing you're healing these excessive burdens and there's new light that's coming to you okay there is an enlightenment moment there is this gift of enlightenment that's coming to you okay i am sensing that and you're coming to a place of stability that's beautiful that's beautiful and look what's at the bottom of the deck be compassionate with yourself okay that's again the heart chakra accept and bring gentleness into the situation and um i am seeing a lot of synchronicities and serendipitous um events taking place in your life let's take a few clarifiers before i close the reading for you so let's first look at the center spread of the ten of wands can i know a little bit more for the divine masculine the ten of wands what are we ending where are we going with that ending wow where are we going towards the ending is uh there's a call of judgment this is judgment i don't want to call it judgment day but this is definitely your second chance at life uh watch the divine feminine reading it will help you it will help to integrate both the energies within you if you're the holder of the masculine watching this for yourself then do watch the divine feminine reading because it'll give you a full picture of what's taking place in your life okay seven of swords okay big lessons no more running away the five of swords there was conflict there so i do feel that things are coming to light okay i'm seeing a lot of light energy coming in um where at one time either people have been deceptive or you or, or you know they have sabotaged some parts of you or you have created self sabotaging you know uh um, through your mind which has created a lot of conflict in your life so i am seeing with this 10 of wands here that there is going to be light there is enlightenment with this king of swords here there's no way of escaping it there's going to be new ideas coming into you there's going to be clarity of thought that comes in and again i'm constantly drawn to sound so please pay attention to the music um something that you feel like a call and a desire to sing i also feel like some of you just uh, whether you have a voice for singing or not it will help you to release and open up these traumas it will help you to release this sing please sing sing for yourself you don't have to sing for another person whatever that is it will help to heal the emotions sing to my masculines sing allow that flexibility and that rhythm to come through more than meditation i'm feeling movement for you i'm feeling singing and if you're listening to a song and you feel like just moving your body to dance a little bit do that allow that gentle flexible flow aspect to come into you okay i am seeing that these burdens of where you turned your back on some things where you didn't want to address is really coming to a close look at that two feminine energies showing up i'm not randomly saying that watch a divine feminine reading you're getting so much inspiration here you're getting so much So many mysteries are going to be revealed to you with the high priestess coming in you're tapping into your intuitive size again sing <laughs> sing divine masculines oh i would love to hear you sing if someone writes a song and sings you want to share with me do that I, you guys are going to make me so proud i feel so proud of you uh is i'm feeling that or play an instrument okay definitely do that you're getting a lot of divine intervention you're getting a lot of downloads and look at what the energy is this burdens are going to end and there is the queen of pentacles okay so you're honoring the feminine principle of nurturing connecting again here to the earth element did i not talk about honoring the earth and this in this particular deck she she is the queen of earth Okay. queen of earth honoring all of life and that comes in by honoring yourself honoring your feminine energy 
honoring the flow, the flexibility. Divine Masculines, sing. <laughs> I had to say it. <laughs> sing. <laughs> okay. Um, can I just take... Um, I think I already know, but let's still do it. Let's get some energy on... Uh, what is this tower? What are we... What are the new energies flowing in as the tower comes in? Okay, definitely watch, 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 watch my Divine Feminine reading, okay? <laughs> I mean, it's not an order, of course not. Uh, what all wants to come out? Four? Okay, I'll take four. Okay, and we got the Ace of Wands. Major mirroring with your feminine right now, okay? Uh, let us see what the cards are revealing. First one up was the Wheel of Fortune. There is a big shift in your life. This is a karmic wheel. This has happened before in this life, in parallel life, past life. And these lessons are part of your journey. These constrictions, limitations, anxieties, everything that you're feeling is part of your journey. It's a part of your learning and you're going to release it. You're going to be on top of the world. You're going to be recognized. You're shifting the wheel. This time around, you're saying, I got it. I got it. I know how to bring that in. This time around, you are understanding the polarities. You're understanding the polar energies. Here is the wedding card I want to show you. Okay, there is the wedding card. Okay, polar energies, the yin and the yang. Okay, is it coming together? Okay, there you are. There you go. So there is divine intervention. This is divinely guided. This is the entire spiritual team is behind you the angels are guiding you as you're going through this period of ascension of integrating two extreme energies the moon and the sun okay so that's what this enlightenment is bringing let us see what was here wow <laughs> Ooh, i love surprises there's the king of pentacles this enlightenment moment this tower this old structure the new structures that you're setting divine masculine is going to bring you to this place of ultimate comfort there's loyalty integrity wisdom okay with this person in a very relaxed state in this particular deck i love it is um it just is like hey this is my game i got it i'm cool i'm relaxed i'm waiting for the universe to conjure up all this thing and bring to me I'm not in my state of aggression and I need to do this and I need to do that. Yeah, I got it. I know how to do it. And I'm taking steps. So there is that loyalty and there's a lot of red here, root chakra energy. It's going to, it's very grounded. Look at that. Center of the deck, you got the queen of pentacles. So you, this is uh, definitely a perfect match. When I say perfect match, your vibrational match is showing up here in the reading you have connected with your divine feminine or are connecting and this is what you're drawing to you is your right energetic match there i'm telling you there is this okay that's what the energy is opening up for you here that's wonderful there was one more that wanted to come what was this <laughs> you know this is amazing dear angel sometimes i just i just feel like let me have my moment please did i not say i want to keep the death card out I did say that, right? Because it was the fourth one at the bottom of the deck. I generally only take three. Look at the card that came here. Again, out of here, there was the fourth card, death and rebirth. So there is definitely an ending. This tower is going to bring in an amazing gift for you. Uh, this old structure uh, of you being a certain way is completely transforming your life. You're going through a portal. You're bringing in this big change and all of this is part of the journey. So this is the part of release of the mental body. You're clearing the mental body. You are healing the emotional body. You are revisiting the mental body, recreating structures, which is more balanced now than they were before. And where you're landing, I love the landing space, is the four of wands. Stability, happiness, celebration, joy, oneness, coming together, coming home. A coming home beautiful wow thank you angels that's so beautiful oh and I didn't tell you what's at the bottom of the deck is the ace of wands and did I say watch the divine feminine reading did I say that <laughs> watch the divine feminine reading okay <laughs> 
Okay, bye now. <laughs> so just, oh, I have to do other recordings too. I'm going to close out the masculine reading now. This was so nice, dear angels. Soul expansion, Mahavdar Babaji. For those who connect with the energy of Mahavdar Babaji, the, the, uh, the Ascended Master's energy is flowing through you. Your consciousness is expanding. You understand the connections between all things. Did we not read that some way here? Connection to all things is opening up here it's a soul expansion that's you're going through a major major um, upgrade a major movement um, and look at that now you have sacred vision at the bottom choose forgiveness okay that's beautiful and I will take one final message from my crystal deck for the divine masculines so funny what is this mindfulness yes um, it's going to help you. Some of you actually uh, may be practicing uh, Buddhist principles or I do feel uh, some aspects of Lord Buddha. Um, perhaps you may, um, you may be drawn to their teachings. I do feel that meditation is going to bring in a lot more because you're going to connect to your inner um, guides and you're going to receive the information you're going to receive the higher octave way of performing it's going to come to and also um, there's great power divine masculines to connect with the lunar energy meaning look at when the full moon is I would highly highly recommend I can only recommend the life is yours life experience is not yours um, so the opportunity and invitation to connect with more deeply with the feminine energy within you and your divine feminine to bring in this new stability to bring in this uh, new wave of prosperity these are definitely waves of prosperity coming into you definitely however it can come to you only when you take the steps that you're guided to take it will be revealed to you in your meditation through sound and feeling a lot of sound energy and uh, sing Sing. <laughs> Sing Divine Masculines. I'm sending you much love, much joy, much happiness. Um, I do wish you so much success, so much prosperity on your path. May you be united with your Divine Feminine. May all your heart's desire manifest. May you continue to anchor in this beautiful light and to be the true Divine Masculine that you're encoded to be. So I send you love and light. This is Arshna here and I will talk to you soon. Bye.